In this video, I'll share with you how you can set up a trailing stop loss and even a trailing profit in KuCoin. So it's a good feature that many of these exchanges don't have. Now, the app that I'll be showing you here will be linked in the description down below. It's a really good app. And it, yes, it is an affiliate link, but this app really does save you time. It gives you a lot of options that the exchanges don't have. So if you use Binance or KuCoin or a couple other exchanges, you can set up really interesting profit scenarios and a trailing stop loss. All right. So you'll definitely want to check out this app. Now we'll be doing this live here. So let's uh, first let's talk about where we entered a trade. Uh, we entered OCN. And what I'm going to do in this video is, is we already entered uh, a trade or we our trade has already been picked up. So our entry has been picked up at 115 Satoshi's. Uh, you'll see here uh, we, we've heard a rumor that uh, something might be happening with OCN. So we're expecting that. I think this is that ICO price right now. We're expecting maybe a 30 percent rise here in the next week or so. So uh, we we just picked up a small position here, 9,500 uh, coins here. But I wanted to sh do that to show you how to use this tool. So first up, let's go to KuCoin. And we want to go to OCN and select BTC. And you'll see here's our coins right here. We can refresh it for the amount because these features just don't exist in an exchange. So you'll see here, I'll set our purchase price of 115 and we will put a trailing stop loss. Now, if you're not familiar with a trailing stop loss, most likely you are if you're watching this video. Basically what that means is as the price rise, you will have uh, your, your stop loss will rise with it. Okay. So Obviously, if it gets down to 111 here, which is our stop loss, we'll be stopped out of that trade, and then we will we'll we'll sell our position, right? Uh, but as the price rise, our expectation here is that it will rise. As it rises, this trailing stop will rise with it. So in some ways, you'll lock in your profit once you get to 115. You'll you'll minimize your risk as well. You'll min minimize your downside, I should say, not necessarily your risk. So I'm going to put it at 4%. That's our trailing stop. I'll probably put it at 5% actually, just because. Uh, now, how you set these numbers and everything else will depend on the individual asset that you're actually investing in, your risk tolerance, the volatility, everything else like that, okay? So I, I won't give advice on the numbers you should set, but really this comes down to a, a personal preference and how you invest, the type of trader you are. All right, so that's set. So we could just do that right now. And we don't even have to set this, what is called a uh, take profit. And what that is, that which is really cool, this allows you to set a profit level that will be taken and then have a trailing profit level. And basically what that is, just so you understand that. So right now we have a position at 115. We're saying we want 8%. Uh, let's actually go up to 25. We're looking for a 25% profit. And that means that uh, at 143, uh, the, this application will watch the price, basically. We'll, we'll put it into a mode where it will watch the price, and we can put a deviation on that. So here, if I put 24, I'm going to put 24. Here we can put a 2 or 3% deviation. I'm going to put a 3% deviation. So what that means is that when it gets to 142 Satoshis, it will watch the price, and if it's massively moving up it will start moving up the take profit it won't fully cash us out of that position it, it will give us a three percent deviation okay so that means that it could go down once it hits 142 we could be cashed out at 21 percent is the way to look at it it's usually a little bit less sometimes because maybe it doesn't catch it just quite in time but that's the way to look at it so this trailing take profit gives you a lot of power to ride some upsides the things that you know how it is in crypto things moon things happen to, to just go crazy sometimes so this we can ride this up maybe another 10 percent we've seen a lot of this uh, this tool has allowed us to make an extra 8 to 15 percent on average on some things so it definitely is a, a really good tool once again it doesn't just work on qcoin it works on other exchanges as well so basically i'm done I've, I've done my smart sell. Basically, that's what we did. So we clicked on smart sell. I should have walked through that step. And I've got my trailing stop at negative 5%. We've got a profit at 24%. And we've got a trailing profit at 3%.
And we're going to create this and confirm. And now we're good to go. You'll see we have a couple other test positions here as well. So we're in our test account right now. You'll see here we're actually we're do, we're testing some strategies here where we can maybe automate some of our purchasing and stuff like that outside of using a bot. This this is another good tool that you could if if you analyze an asset, you can go in and actually uh, set up some. And that's actually let, let's do that now. Okay, let's do a smart trade. Okay, so let's go and let's look at the chart again. So let's say that, you know, obviously we just bought, but let's say that we want to actually maybe purchase this here at 113, okay? So 113 Satoshis. So now we're going to do a smart trade. Now with a smart trade, all you have to do is select the asset that you want. Now we're already in OCN, so I'll just do it again just so you see how it's done. And then select smart trade. Now with smart trade, what you do is you basically do a smart trade. You set up where do you want to purchase, you set up your trailing stop loss, and you set up your take profit. And it will get triggered once that price is reached. So for instance, on OCN, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to buy 9,500 units of OCN, and we're going to buy it at 113. And this is the total BTC we'll spend for that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a trailing stop loss here at 5%. And then we'll take a take profit. We'll put our take profit at 23%. And let's do a deviation of two, okay? You can set these things up however you want. One of the things that you can do that I didn't mention before is you don't have to have a trailing. Basically what that means is that once this price is hit, it will cash out, right? But a trailing is usually good because once again, if, if, things, if it's going through a, a rise, if there's a lot of buyers entering this, and it goes to 138, 139, 14, 141, and you, you can ride that upside. So this just th this type of tool doesn't ex exist in the exchanges right now. So this really gives you a, a good way to do a lot of sophistication in your entries, in stop losses, and in your exits. So definitely I, it's something I highly suggest that you take a look at if you're not already using it. Once again, the link is down below. So we're good. We're good to go. Uh, I'm going to set create and we've created a smart cell. Now keep in mind what happens, there, there is no order on the exchange yet. Okay, so what this does is it actually communicates with the API of that actual exchange and it watches that price. When this price is hit, then a limit order will be placed and then it will go out, the, you'll, you'll, your position will be placed and then everything that we just set up here will be uh will go in will go into effect okay so this might not ever get picked up but this is something that you can do you can obviously go here and look at the charts right we're looking at the one hour let's look at the eight hour right you can you can set these things up in advance i mean you can do this on the exchange too right but the nice thing about this is that you can set up everything you can set your stop loss you can set your take profit you can set your entry you can set all that up right here so you could look at this chart and say well geez you know, we might still have some of a downside here. So if we get to 110, I, I want to take a position. And then we'll put a stop loss at, uh, you know, 101 maybe, 102, right? And and then we'll take a, a take profit maybe right here in this mid-range here, maybe below this tick mark here. It's 16%. You know, you probably want to do a little bit more because I, I do feel that this has a little bit of upside based on some things we've heard. But th you can set all that up. You can set, just like I just did, you can set all that up. You can analyze various assets and set all that up. So this is a very smart way to, to be able to do some of this stuff. It's a tool that since we've discovered, we've used it quite a bit. It saved us on the downside and it's given us additional profits on the upside. So definitely check it out. Once again, the link will be down below in the description. And I have other videos on the channel that go into detail about how to use this. And I'll be making more videos as we move forward about some of the, the the best numbers to use for some of this stuff. Like what's the best stop loss, how to figure that out, how to figure out your take profit, what's the best way to do that. I mean, a lot of this is technical analysis anyways, but I will share some of that specific to this tool. And this tool they, they seems to be really well supported uh, and they have a lot of features in the works. So it's something that I'm really excited about using here, not only now, but in the future. So definitely check it out. And if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe. You can also find the Discord group down below. So join the Discord group I call BTC. I also call other trades that we're in as well. 
Look forward to seeing you in the next video.